Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video with Swagahoss. And in this video, we have some sneaky big news that flew a little bit under the radar these last couple of days. At least it flew under my radar because I was busy with my Kickstarter and we, of course, got the breaking news of JSA and CGC combining forces. But we have an update to the CGC 350 scam reholder book article that actually acknowledges the fact that they have actually made changes to their CGC cases. So in this video, I wanted to go through the updates with you guys, you know, just make you aware of what is going on currently uh, at CGC. There's some other little transparency things that they add for context to the list. And a uh, shout out to Ryan over at Automatic Comic Books who actually uh, made me aware of these updates. He actually uh, recently got a comic book back where he was actually able to show some images of the slight improvements that they are making to their cases. And we're gonna use some of his images to uh, show you guys in this video here today. But of course, before I get into the video, if you guys can like, comment, subscribe, I appreciate it. Help support the channel, doing those things. Also, if you really wanna help support the channel, check out Sanity on Kickstarter. We just launched two days ago, hit our goal, but we are not done yet. A Lovecrafty and comic book adventure. I am so excited about this project right here. The team and I have been working super hard on it and we really hope you guys consider supporting and checking it out. But back to the video at hand, updated CCG and CGC comics statement on holder tampering incident. And you guys can see right here, March 18th is when they actually updated this article. I'm gonna read through it with you guys and add some commentary. The certified collectibles group, which includes a CGC, has shared another update on the comic book a holder tampering incident. CCG filed a lawsuit against the individual and his partner who tampered with CGC comic book holders to replace higher graded comic books with lower graded comic books of the same type. On February 13th, 2024, we obtained the preliminary injunction order prohibiting the defendant from doing anything related to CGC graded comic books. Pending the final hearing and ruling uh, in the case, the lawsuit is working its way through the court system and we will provide an update when there are any significant developments in the case. So. One of the things I thought was interesting is they say that it's working through the court system, but as we know, you know, Paul Lesko, shout out to Paul Lesko, he was on my YouTube channel, The Hobby Lawyer. He actually did make an update, um, ironically, on the same day that they put out theirs, which was uh, the legal filings, where he actually said, and the defendants won't respond to the complaint in CGC versus Zanello, you know, the injunction that CGC mentioned in their article, because the parties have made significant progress towards reaching a resolution. So this case is now in its last legs. It'll be settled soon and then will be over. So while CGC is saying that, you know, they're continuing through the legal process, it does seem like Paul is pointing out the fact that, you know, based on this legal filing, it seems as though the two parties are going to be settling out of court. That's something that we've kind of talked about um, a bunch of times already on the channel. And it really was what I was expecting to happen with this whole situation uh, from the beginning. But here's where the article actually gets more interesting and more relevant to probably what I put on the thumbnail for this. Uh, it says right here, in addition to our ongoing efforts to prosecute this fraud, we are continuing to make improvements to the security of our encapsulation process. Already, many customers have noted a significantly stronger seal on our holders. We are currently testing further improvements to the seal along with high-tech solutions that will enhance the security of our process and holders. Watch for updates in the coming months about the specific improvements that we are making. Now, while CGC in this article doesn't actually explicitly say what they're improving, Ryan actually recently got a comic book back. Uh, give Ryan, of course, a subscribe and a follow. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. But you guys can see right here, the plastic seal that they actually use on the side of the comic book um, looks a little bit different. This is uh, kind of flatter. I would maybe say that it's a lot bigger. Uh, it looks like it's ground down more. So I don't know that this is necessarily improving you know, massive amounts of case security, as we saw from the Immaculate video, you know, he was able to remove the book from the corners, but this seal is different than what it is on some of the other books that we've seen before. For context, if we see what the last seal looked like, you can see that it was a much smaller, much uh, skinnier piece of kind of rounded plastic. Uh, I would imagine that once the cases got put together, there's probably a machine that kind of just glues this side down with this uh, small amount of plastic. And uh, yeah, it looks like, you know, we're getting something a lot different here um, with this sort of more rectangular seal that is kind of 
ground down, smoothed down. Looks like it's been scratched up a b bunch. I don't know if there's any uh, plastic experts out there in the comment section. Maybe you guys can actually explain why this seal would be more secure or perhaps there's some uh, crack and presser uh, people out there in the comments that can actually talk about why this particular seal would be harder to crack out than say this one right here. So kind of an interesting thing uh, that CGC sort of low key uh, has been adding, you know, different types of security to their cases. And it's not like it actually came out in a press report. I mean, it just kind of flew under the radar, you know, a couple days ago in this updated article uh, here with the 350 holder list. So let me know what you guys think about that. For me, I always kind of figured that them redoing cases from the ground up was going to be a big uh, task. It was going to be a big undertaking for them. So I can see why they're trying to come up with solutions that really don't rock the boat too much. I mean, if they can just kind of improve their security just through processes in their building and then also, you know, adding some extra plastic that makes it harder for people to tamper with, then I suppose that's going to be a satisfactory uh, fix for them on their end. But let me kind of finish out with the article here because I do think that there's some other interesting uh, transparency aspects to this list. We sincerely apologize for the delays in compensating customers who have made claims. CCG is working as expeditiously as possible to set up a process to address each and every customer who has made a claim. We are committed to making everyone impacted by this incident whole, even if it takes longer than we had hoped. I mean, that's something that you have to applaud with CGC. If they really are going to live up to that, um, you know, you, you have to give them props for sure that that they do have the intention to make everyone affected uh, by this incident whole. Uh, we have received some questions about the list of potentially impacted books that we released on January 3rd of 2024 and have added some new FAQs below. So here's kind of where it also uh, gets interesting and adds a bunch of transparency to the list itself. What does it mean if a certification number has been struck through? Of course, if you guys don't know uh, the list, which is down here, you know some of these books have strike throughs through their serial numbers. And no one really understood what that meant until what they say right here, which is any certification number that is struck through has been reviewed by the CGC grading team. A strike through does not mean that the holder has been tampered with or not tampered with. It only means that the book has been reviewed. So that's kind of interesting. It feels like the book has, I would assume, gone through their doors. I mean, they said that the book has been reviewed. I don't know if that means, you know, they've looked at online pictures of it or whatever, but if it has a strike through, it just means that I would assume they're in touch with the person who has the book. And that's really what the strike through means. Why do some of these books have a new grade date in Verify CGC certification? If a book has a new grade date in Verify CGC certification, it has been reviewed. This grade date simply means that the grading record for that certification number was updated in some ways on that date. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense, right? I mean, as soon as they see a book and if they're gonna review the grade, I mean, based on what happened with these books, I mean, that's kind of the now new official grade date. So it makes sense for them to update it. Uh, why do some of these books not have a grade at all in Verify CGC certification? If a book's grade is vacated, the book is currently at CGC. Yeah, okay, makes sense. They're looking at it, so it's, it's subject to change. What happens with the books after CGC completes its review? If CGC determines that the book has been tampered with, the book will be held by CGC pending the outcome of the insurance claim and legal process. If CGC determines that the book has not been tampered tampered with. The old certification number will be deleted. The book will be assigned a new certification number, encapsulated, and returned to the submitter. Okay, so that makes sense. You know, obviously, if the book is tampered with, it's going to go to evidence, and they're going to probably have to pay out people for, you know, their books. If it's not tempered with, it's it's getting an all new uh, reholder, it's getting an all new serial number, and it's going back to those collectors. Uh, will CGC share the results of the reviews? Now, this is the interesting one. Due to the ongoing investigation and legal process, we will not be providing a list of the final determinations of these books at this time. We will reassess once this process is complete. Uh, I would have to imagine that even if they do reassess that, um, they're not gonna tell us. I mean, I, I don't think that CGC would want to air any of the dirty laundry about this case. And frankly, I mean, what would you expect them to do? I mean, of course they wouldn't want to do that. I mean, if I was working for CGC, I probably wouldn't want to do that either. So um, like I've said many times on the channel, I mean, we're never really going to know all the intricacies and the nuances of what went down with this case. How often is this list being updated? This list is being updated weekly. However, it is updated manually. So there may be slight difference in timing between updates that appear to verify in verify CGC service 
notification and updates that appear on the list. Uh, what if I still have questions? If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to us at reportfraud at collectiblesgroup.com. We appreciate your patience as we work to resolve this incident. So there you go, guys. Um, kind of a sneaky big news that, uh, again, at least from my perspective, flew a little bit under the radar. I mean, frankly, because I was just working on my Kickstarter. So uh, I, I didn't actually get a notification uh, of this update. And um, actually, that's what I think is kind of interesting is, you know, they, they didn't really do an email blast with this. They didn't do a Instagram post. Um, I barely knew that they were even touching um, this particular article right here and providing many updates. I mean, I did see the one update that they had down here on January 3rd, but, you know, I mean, we're, we're two months later or six weeks later, and they did another update to this article, and it didn't even really get bumped up in their newsfeed either. So you kind of have to manually go back here to sort of check to see, you know, what is going on with the current situation. Of course, if you guys want to be following Paul Lesko, he's always giving up great information and great uh, updates to the CGC cases. So go give his Twitter a follow. And then of course, shout out to Ryan once again for actually being able to show us the difference in the current cases where this right here is the old seal and then the new seal is actually this one right here, which is more rectangular and ground down. So go give Ryan follow, go give Paul Lesko a follow, and go give Sanity Rise of the Occult the Kickstarter a follow. Link in the description. Anyways, that's all I got for this video. What do you guys think about these new kind of uh, reholders going on? What do you guys kind of think about the seal? Do you guys think that that's gonna be enough? Any experts out there that can add context into why that seal would be harder to tamper with? Let me know in the comments. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. See you on the next video.